The traditional ruler who described peace as the greatest achievement of any kingdom, community, and country at large said without peace, there will be no development. The Umiagwabaka monarch Awe Kedo I disclosed that every kingdom has its own peculiar challenges, noting that some part of his kingdom is bedeviled with lack of access road. He however stated the need for government to follow up with the development master plan in order to enhance the aesthetic outlook of the kingdoms making up the entire state. I wanted to make a distinction use Africa as, as a model. So my first take here was having settled down was to inform government of the situation in the kingdom that it's necessary uh, for the kingdom to be planned on tourism, the Umiago Abaka monarch Awe Kedi first said government and individuals ought to revamp moribund tourist sites across the state, adding that the sector no doubt serves as avenue for government to generate revenue as well as create jobs for teaming youths. He equally challenged government to invest in electricity to boost small-scale businesses. If you go to Ghana, now, Ghana is making so much money from tourism. Kenya depends on tourism. Even Tanzania too, they are developing their own now. To rather Rwanda is even the number one destination now. And that is an industry that survives. This river, hopefully, if we maintain it well, it will be here for centuries. So if we develop the tourism aspect of it, we create jobs. And it is jobs that are sustainable. The Umiyawabaka traditional ruler lauded the Delta State government for contributing to the peace enjoyed in different parts of Delta State.